got something. <laughs> So we're fishing down at Hastings Pier today. Uh, I haven't fished here for a while. It's been closed actually, again, uh, intermittently it opens. Uh, it's quite a big open space you can see from those shots there. And you find the pier opposite the White Rock Theatre on the seafront down in Hastings. Uh, access is quite good, plenty of parking down there as well. And hopefully you'll watch the video all the way through. You can see we did quite well. I was really happy with today's fishing. And also managed to land my first bass of the year. So there we go, Hastings Pier, time's about half past nine, pier's opened around about nine o'clock. As you can see, no one's here. So I've got this place to myself, which is quite handy. So I'm going to choose to fish over on the west side, usually the most popular spot. Um, and the idea is to cast out there for the place. Use the trusty pen surf blaster here that on the Azores Vertex Continental rod. I do enjoy using this rod. So I've got one rod out of distance. I say distance, probably only about 50 yards. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to pack uh, this little three ounce rod. I'm just going to lower down down there somewhere, and uh, that way those fresh worms will stay intact as well try and avoid this uh, if I bring fish in and then I've just got my cheapy this little Shakespeare one uh, which I didn't expect to last really I've used it out of the kayak starting to rust up and stuff but not too bad as a little reserve rod that one uh, there's braid on both uh, both of my reels uh, as for the rigs I've just got a three hook flapper a size two hooks on there nice simple one got a mixture here of the live worms these yellow tails that iodine look at that it's lovely and yellow um, and then the gutted the rat ones here and then those gutted rat ones I'm going to put that on a three hook flapper blast that one out as far as I can and uh, hoping hoping for some place and then I might change that to a loot rig something with some uh, beads on it because the water looks the water here actually looks quite clear for a change. We've been plagued by this gully water and it is a little bit coloured, um, but it's certainly a lot better than it has been the past two weeks after Easter. I'm doing with the worm is just packing it out with both types of worms so they've got a bit of movement on the hooks with the uh, the wrigglers and then the bulk is sort of provided by the gutted worm uh, there's no real science behind it I just thought if I've got a bit of movement on the hook that's a good attraction uh, but we still get a lot of bait sent into the water uh, using these worms so So you do have to be careful in Hastings Pier because you've got those gaps obviously uh, little bits of terminal tackle can get lost down there uh, it might be worth bringing uh, a mat of some sort or even a chopping board something like that so you don't lose your gear down there
got something. <laughs> Little flat fish by the looks of it. There he comes. And my little one. It's a little flounder. There he is. Now I've got this wrong in the past. Flounder or dab? Dab or flounder? Certainly not a place. You think I should know by now, but I always mix them up. I'm starting to have my doubts. It's a shame I've thrown it back in. Hang on a minute. A little bit of camera magic. There you go. What do you reckon? I think the biggest clue there is the lateral line. Uh, it's more pronounced on a dab. Certainly not see through. So I'm going with flounder. No, it could just be the tide, but if you look at the end of that rod tip, it's starting to bounce a little bit. I should imagine that rod will just sit there most of the day. Yeah. Oh. Now hopefully hopefully he'll swim off. Who knows? No. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. usually alright, they're quite tough. <laughs> Well, it's almost like two different days. When you turn around and you head to the north, you can see the clouds up there. And from the top of the buildings from St. Leonard's, you can actually see the clouds coming over. Definitely two different days. We may actually get a little bit of rain here. Skies are darkening a little bit. Sometimes though, that can lead to some better fishing, so. Big rod, your big rod's going. Oh, thank you. Double twitch. Ah, that's what we want. And then stop. Definitely a double twitch. Yeah. Yeah, there's something on there. That's a better one. Oh, that feels quite good. Dogfish. There you go, a little dogfish.
Oh well, I lost the audio on this one, but we had a hell of a little rattle on this. Uh, took the bait right off the floor, so I knew it was something half decent. You can see as I strain a little bit to get that in. Also working against the tide here. Yeah, gave it a big old hit, and then um, continuing my theme of not identifying the fish properly. At about this distance here, I thought it was a whiting. It wasn't. There's something a little bit more interesting, as you'll see. Uh, you're only allowed to keep one this one's undersized 42 centimeters being a minimum um, so I definitely wanted to put him back it's time for a quick photo I'm hoping that height you're okay with the height there dropping it down I think I'm going to try and develop a little uh, way of releasing it closer to the water I mean it did swim off those small ones quite robust uh, yeah if you could yeah I'll uh... Oh, that's a bit of a bit of a pull on that one. Keep this nice and steady. So it's got like a real rattle to it. Come on. Oh, it's a bass, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little bass. Oh, a uh, bass. Bass. Sea bass, yeah. Oh, sea bass. Yeah. There he is, lovely. You let it go. I'm going to let this. There, look. So I brought it to the surface quite quickly. You can see it's coming through the water. This is quite a nice bit. Oh, yeah. It's making a little pump for freedom there. And it looks to me. Oh, I wonder what that is. It looks like a whiting. Let's pull this up. Oh no, it's a bass. Bass, the first bass of the year for me. You can tell they fight so well. Let's bring him up. Should have bought a. Should have bought a. Uh, sit net first. There we are. I just want to get you get the red one in yourself if you want. I might need a tug to get the grip leads out. Yeah. Uh, so I've just landed that bass and what I've had to do is a gentleman here, also a, an angler, as you can see, he knows what he's doing. And uh, I've just had to put him on the rod because <laughs> I was pulling in the bass on the other rod. It doesn't look too big, I don't know, it's not... should get a sight of it in a minute. No, nothing. You can see the problem here. Because I'm too busy trying to film, I've obviously hit the lead on the side of the pier. 